Hey, what is going on Guardians? Gray here with another Destiny 2 video. And in this video, I want to discuss a specific Charged with Light mod. If you guys haven't seen this mod before, the, video, the mod we're going to be talking about in the video today is the Energy Converter mod. This is a mod that we just got access to at the beginning of Season of Arrivals. And it's very, very interesting because when you read the text, you might think it works a completely different way than how it actually functions. And I was messing around here in the tribute hall, putting together a build for this week's Grandmaster Nightfall, and I started experimenting with this mod a little bit, and it kept throwing me off because I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working, why it wasn't activating when I felt like it should be working. And lo and behold, it's because of the way that it's worded that it can be kind of difficult to understand. So the whole point of this video is to help you get a better understanding of how this mod functions and put some quantifiable numbers behind how much it actually helps you and if it's really beneficial or not to try and include this in your build. So if you enjoy the video, please leave a like below and consider hitting that subscribe button. With that being said, let's dive right into it. We have a lot to talk about in the video. So. Taking your first glance at the energy converter mod, you're gonna read the text. I'm gonna read it word for word to you, and I'm gonna show it here on the screen, and we can kind of decipher what it means, because it just does something more than what it actually says here. It says, while charged with light, using your grenade attack grants you super energy, consuming all stacks of charge with light. The more stacks you have, the more energy you gain, up to a maximum of 50% of your super energy. Now on paper, reading it just like that, you would think, oh, okay, cool. So if I have multiple stacks of charge with light and I throw on my grenade, it could give me up to 50% of my super back. And that sounds insane, which is what caught my attention in the first place when I wanted to use this mod. I was like, okay, this could be crazy if we can get half our super back based on how many stacks we have. So I immediately threw together a build that would let me have the max amount of stacks. You can have up to five stacks of charge with light if you're running the proper mods. You have to go pretty far into that to, in order to be able to run the full five stacks. But once I did it and I was testing it, it didn't seem like it was giving me that 50% of my super back. And so I was a little bit confused at first until I started diving into how this actually functions. The first thing I noticed was that the way this is worded is not, in my mind at least, it's not correct. The way it sh actually functions is that if you have more than 50% of your super at any given time, this mod will not activate. It will only give you super energy up to 50% of your super. So right after you cast your super and you have none of your super charge and you throw your grenade, you'll get a huge chunk of your super back, but only if you're below 50%. That's where that 50% comes from. Nothing about this actually says that you'll get 50% of your super from using your grenade. That's not how it functions. And so once I finally got my head around that, it changed how I looked at this mod a little bit and it's a little misleading. It makes you think you would be able to do that, but it really means if you're below 50%, then you can consume your stacks of charge with light to get a nice bump to your super energy. And lo and behold, it's not entirely worthless. I did a bunch of testing. I'm gonna show clips here in the background. And like I stated before, if you're above that 50% threshold, this mod will give you absolutely no return. It won't consume your stacks of charge with light, but it also will give you no super energy whatsoever. So you don't wanna waste your grenade thinking you're gonna get the super energy and not get it at all because you're above 50%. But we can at least look at how it would help you right after you cast your super. And if you save those charges of light and a grenade for once you're done using your super, you can get a massive chunk back immediately. And if you go full ham into the stacks and you run five stacks of charge with light, you cast your super, you can see it here I'm using Golden Gun is an example. I'll talk about that a little bit in a minute, but right after I cast my super, I'm at 0%. I have five stacks of charge with light and I throw my grenade and you can see it gives me roughly 40% of my super back. That's nothing to laugh at. That's almost half of your super 
immediately returned to you just for throwing a grenade and having five stacks of charge with light. Now you have to invest a lot into your gear to be able to get those five stacks. And it's not the most reliable thing being able to consistently have that many, but the numbers there so that you know that if you break it down a little further, I did some more testing. We'll start from the bottom and work our way up. If you have two stacks of charge with light, it'll give you roughly 10 to 12% of your super back. As you can see here, if you have three stacks that jumps up a little bit to 18 to 20% roughly with four stacks, it's going to give you about 25%, maybe a little more. I'm going off of just what I can tell on my super meter. These aren't exact numbers, but it's what it looks like to me. However, when you have those five stacks, it looks like it gives you a little additional bonus and it bumps you up pretty far and gives you that almost looks like 40% of your super back from the get go. So now that we know how, how much super we're actually going to get back from this mod, we can start to pair it with certain exotics. And that's where I wanted to go with this build initially. So I'm going to talk about that just a little bit. Now for the purposes of this video, and for the build that I'm crafting for this week's Grandmaster, I wanted to use the Celestial Nighthawk exotic helmet for the hunters. This is a really cool helmet. It's really nice for PvE. It modifies your golden gun to fire one single high damage shot. And if you kill a target with that shot, you're going to get a massive chunk of your super back. Do you see where I'm going with this? And on paper, once you test it again, I'll show you here. When you get that kill with your golden gun, it's going to give you roughly a third of your super back. We're going to call it 33% for the purpose of this video. So you're going to get 33% of your super back just if you get the kill with a Celestial Nighthawk bullet. Now, if we have just two stacks of charge with light ready and our grenade before we cast our Celestial Nighthawk, our, you know, our golden gun, we're going to get the kill and throw our grenade immediately and we'll be right back at 50% of our super. Two stacks will land you about 45%. If you have three stacks of charge with light, it'll cap you at that 50% immediately. So knowing that, we can start to do some pretty cool things. And I'm not going to dive entirely into the build I'm doing. I'm going to save another video for that for my build for this week so you can farm Lake of Shadows. But... There's a lot of exotics in the game that function similarly to the Celestial Nighthawk. There's a lot of ones that return super energy after using your super. And you can pair this with energy converter to get your super back very, very quickly. So just with three stacks of charge with light, that's not hard to spec into. By default, you can carry two stacks. And if you use the charged up mod anywhere on your gear, you can see it right here. It allows for one additional stack of charge with light. So you can slap that in and have an easy three stacks, no problem. And when you're running things like Nightfalls and you use counter charge, it's not hard to get three stacks of charge with light. You pop your super, get the kill, throw your grenade, and you're right back at 50% again. It's very quick and it's a cool little thing to take advantage of. I just felt that the wording on this mod did not explain how it truly functioned. And I wanted to clarify that a little bit because it's a really cool mod if you know how to use it and you can make some really cool builds out of it. So there's a lot of, a lot of implications you can do with this, of course. And so if you guys try this thing out, let me know what you come up with to use with certain builds. Like I said, there's a lot of different exotics that will allow you to get a chunk of your super back after using it. But I felt like Celestial Nighthawk was a really cool pairing for this because I can have it really often in the Grandmaster Nightfall for clearing out adds, dealing massive damage, and the subclass itself is built all around getting your super back as quick as possible. So I can get that first 50% and the second half is super easy to get just through precision hits and things like that. So I hope I showed decent gameplay in the background here, guys. I wanted to give a solid explanation of how this mod really works if i'm missing something or you have any questions please drop it down in the comment below i'll do my best to answer them it's very interesting sometimes bungie words things so weird and they don't it doesn't quite work the same as it would look on paper so it takes a little bit of testing but i love doing stuff like this and now i know how this functions i can incorporate it into some of my builds more often so I hope you found the video helpful or at least the slightest bit educational. Again, if you did, your support's appreciated. Leave a like below and consider hitting that subscribe button. 
keep an eye out later this week i'm going to be showing a build that i'm going to use for lake of shadows using this mod and the gunslinger so keep an eye out for that thank you guys for stopping by take care